can't really say anything. Come on, I thought that's what you brought us here for. I brought you here for tits and drinks. What more do you want? Tamburlaine. Lost out because he's a nut job. There's no way he wouldn't have made it. He's a family of garland winners. Put it this way. It's not who didn't make it. It's who did. Stop being such a sphinx. Okay. This year, drum roll please. This year, they're gonna try out some natural wounds. Oh, shut up. Truth. Shut your lying face. No, no, I can see it. Give the nat a dream. <laughs> Bullshit. A natural born kid trying out to be a guardian. <laughs> Bullshit. Bullshit. They won't even make it through training, let alone the fear tank. <laughs> It'd be worse than murder. No, but surely some of them will make it. No, no, because we're not talking about some trained harfy from a good bloodline. Not all, anyway. There's going to be a few invited from the orphanages. Oh, shit, the bed. You're not the only one freaking out about it. Good evening, gentlemen. Would you like another drink? What the hell are you doing? We're not allowed to use sink in here. He's right, you know. Besides, I've got something prettier than that to show you. <laughs> I've been worried awful all night. You getting clinkered? No. What happened? They're gonna take me out. They've called me in. Well, what do they want you for? They want me to try out for guardians. <laughs> yeah, right. No one even knows your line. You're not even a mod. Did the Guardians miss the fact you're bloody tiny? They want me to go in half hour. I don't know what to do. What do you mean you don't know what to do? Pack your bloody things up before they change their mind. People like us don't belong with Guardians. What if we don't make it? You'll be able to get me rocks easier if you're a guardian. You need to shut up, Tozer. This ain't about rocks from Medishop. People die trying to become guardians. Mod people, trained people, they're gonna kill me. More people die who aren't training to be guardians. More people die in here. Probably be back in half hour when they throw me out for failing. Catch her, don't fail. What about you? I'll get myself for an out soon. You're right about one thing. Seems even guardians can miss some stuff. Thanks, Catch. Make them last. Catch up. Just don't come back, okay?
chosen few, elite of the calling, I salute you. My name is Magellan, and I am here on behalf of the creditors' circles whom you have vowed to serve and protect, to greet you at the start of this great journey. As those of you with pure blood and fierce hearts endeavor to join a mighty line of guardians, a line of victors started before the Great War and which will continue long after we are gone. <laughs> Let me be clear, not all of you will survive. So before you begin, ask yourselves if you truly have what it takes to become a guardian. For some of you are merely scratched in the sand, waiting for the seas to return. Those of you who are true guardians will prove yourselves to be carved from stone. These strongest few will be linked as one body, one mind, to be the very eyes, ears, and hands of the state. On the final day of calling, conquerors of fear itself, those who remain will become the guardians of the state, and more than this, guardians of all our tomorrows. Who's that? That's Celine. Tamblay! Catch her! What were you talking about? Nothing important. I mean, we're old school friends, first grade, second circle, so we're, we're just talking about old times. Anything else? No, we were just having a few drinks and catching up. And after the Lotus House? You're not in any trouble, Danny. There's no need to be scared. You just need to tell me what happened. Clearly. We'd left the Lotus House. Um, and we were going to go home, but before we could, the ghost we got control. We don't know of... that, Danny. The ghost is a rumour. I know what I saw. Then tell me what you saw. We were in the car dog, and uh, Cal says that he's that's something to show me, so I tend to sink it over. I find everything starts shaking. It's, it's like he's having a fit. And then? And then the ghost. Got Enough! He was my best friend. And he shoots himself right in front of me. <laughs> and then the ghost got control of time, but... He was screaming for me to run, but... 
He was already inside of him. Danny, look! <laughs> look, that night you'd had a lot to drink. and You've obviously been through something traumatic. You were found unconscious with traces You're of... You're not listening to me. This is not some myth. She's real. She's been inside my head and I've been inside hers. And she's coming. She's... She's gonna come here. She's gonna paint all the walls with blood. Enough, she's... Danny. Calm down. Oh. Danny, look at me. Look at me. No. Danny, look at me. So you're telling me you saw the ghost? Hmm? I don't doubt you saw someone, Danny. What did they look like? I don't know. You just said you saw them. I don't know. Danny, what did you see? <laughs> what do you see? I don't know, I can't quite see it clearly. It's like diving underwater. What do you see? I just see some light in my face. It's like those light up creatures you see in the deep. Almost looks like the star showers. Like on my first holiday. From the old satellites I used to see growing up. What do you see? A girl, I think. Two girls. One's holding the other's hand and, and they're jumping through puddles. <laughs> and how does that make you feel? <laughs> what do you mean, how does it make you feel? What do you see? It's like those faces you see in dreams. You know it's someone you know, but the face hasn't any features. Is that Tozo? Who's that? What do you see? I don't know what it is. Cocks, tits, asses. I can't work it out. More cocks, more asses. <laughs> like the sky. Who's that? Like the sky from the waist. They saw them once. It started making me uncomfortable. Sort of changing now. <laughs> what do you see? Now it looks like the time I saw petrol in the road when I was running for rocks. And how does that make you feel? You've got to turn it on. Hello, Catcher. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Bleeding thing, Chris! <laughs> Just think of it like you're speaking to a friend. But it don't know nothing of me. Hello, Catcher. It'll know more than you think. Just think of it like a diary. Hello. Um. Dear diary. Hello, Catcher. How are you feeling today? Pretty weird. Yeah, the last few days have all been pretty weird. And now, to top it off, I'm talking to a glowy bit of glass. Is training going well? Well, it must be going okay since they still ain't clinking me or sent me out yet. And I'm getting bigger. Look, right, look, look, closely. It's really tiny, but, you know, it's because of all the hormonals they're giving us to stop us being so small. Me and Sophie's the only last two natural borns in here, the only who made the cut. And how does that make you feel, Catcher? Good. Well, quite good, pretty nervous mostly. Pretty nervous most of the time, to be honest, around here, the way some of the mods have been looking at me. Well, quite good, pretty nervous mostly. Pretty nervous most of the time, to be honest, around here, the way some of the mods have been looking at me. They really go at you in training. Celine and Natasha, in particular, right face. One of the modified boys looks like a good guy, though. Tambourine. He's got kind eyes. Well, I don't think he's all that. He's not right in the head. Sorry. Funny, but Sophie's right, he's crazy too. Today, when we're doing the truth panels, he couldn't stop laughing. I asked him why, so because all I can see is naked ladies. I didn't see any of them. What did you see, Catcher? Toza. Well, I think it was Toza. What is Toza? 
Poser's my friend from orphanage. I wonder how she's doing now I can't get rocks for her. Whenever I get tired here, I try harder for her. Because she asked me to do well in here. And what are you enjoying most, Catcher? Hmm. Well, it's got to be Sophie, doesn't it? We're the only last two naturals in here. It's nice having another nap one around, you know. Someone normal in this world of superhumans. Oh, but I am superhuman. Ah! <laughs> Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> Forcing them to be my friend! What's your problem? <laughs> the problem is that little nat-born orphan girls eat like pigs. Eat like pigs. Speak like pigs. Look like pigs. Trainees are fighting the mess hall, sir. Leave it. Sir. Leave it. Bloody natural have to toughen up sometime. <laughs> Like a child! I'm stupid. Yeah, but like, I should have seen the other girl. You've got to take care of yourself now. I don't want to be the only gnat in here on my own. Yeah, I'm almost better. My shoulder hurts, but at least in here, when things hurt, you don't have to steal rocks. Wish I could get some of these to toes out. But I need them to get better rights quick. Got to go on fear tank soon. Diary. What's it like in Fear Tank? Everybody experiences the Fear Tank differently. Yeah, I know, they told me. But what's it like? The Fear Tank creates a virtual reality in which you will experience your most intense fears. How long does it last? Every second in real time grows exponentially in virtual time. Although your experience will actually only take seconds, it will feel to you like days. Yeah, they say people can go mad in there. 
and people die in there. Do you think I can get through, diary? That information is restricted. What do you mean is restricted? That information is restricted. Has an actual war ever survived a fear tank? That information is restricted. Just too damn cold, man. Brass monkeys. You're cold. It's my third time this week, mate. Third time? On the fence. Cold my state, you. Cold lakes me, and the only thing I've had three times this week is your mum. <laughs> Oi. My mum's top dollar compared to that girl you've been seeing. Excuse me? No excuse for you, mate. Everyone's saying how nasty she is. Halt! You are on Guardian territory! Stop where you are and put your hands up or we will shoot! What did the sink show? Bloody gnat born scrambled his sink good. He's lucky to be alive. He's really knocked off his head. Is he conscious? No, but he's a mess. What were the testosterone levels? Well, because of the training, she's on higher than... No, not the trainee. The guard. We haven't taken a reading yet. Mum, I know it's none of my business, but some of the other instructors are wondering, was it the ghost? I'm here to get the facts. And you and other senior instructors should know better than to make superstitious suppositions until we have all the facts. You're in charge of training guardians to be clear, logical thinkers. Not to indulge in rejectionist gossip and urban myths, am I understood, Cole? Yes, ma'am. Dismissed. So tell me again, why you were in a female trainee's pod last night? I was a girl. All I could see was the girl. What did the girl look like? Uh, I don't know. I just... I can't... I just, I just can't say. You requested a meeting, Cressida. I've reached some conclusions I wanted to share with you. Be quick. Sir, the survivors are telling the truth. At least they believe they're telling the truth. 
However unlikely it seems, we must take the ghost seriously. And if I may, sir, I think you already are. Otherwise, why would I have been assigned to this and not one of my juniors? Get to the point. The possessions have for weeks been moving nearer and nearer the Guardian training camp. Last night, it actually made a breach inside, leaving two Guardians dead and another severely injured. It wants something, and Guardians will be in danger while it does. It wants something? It has to do with the natural born trainees. I think it wants them or wants to kill them. That is your professional opinion? It is, sir. It will be back. We should take the naturals out of training for now and limit the use of sinks. It's just too dangerous for the naturals and the other trainees. So you're an expert in natural borns now? No, no, sir. The natural borns will see through their final initiation. I remind you that your brief is to gather information on the occurrences, not make high circle decisions. Yes, sir, of course. My brief is also to protect all Guardian and creditor interests. Cressida, do not remind me of your brief again. Defenses have been doubled and sink you strictly limited, but the natural borns will stay. But, sir, can I... I understand why they made us move pods, but it's not the best preparation a day before the fear tank. And it's strange not having Catcher around. I miss her. Why do you miss her, Sophie? Well, I guess after what happened, I feel safer with her around. I just feel better with her around. I know this might go on my record, and it's probably only the hormone doses they've been giving us this week. But I think I might love her. Have you told anyone this? No. Not yet. Tomorrow. After the fear tank. Best not to put anyone off before. Yeah, I'll tell her if I still feel the same. Tomorrow. Right, listen up. This is it. This is your final initiation. As you have already been told, not all of you will be strong enough to get through this. So, I have to ask, if anyone does not wish to take the test, you step aside now. Good. Then we shall proceed. When your name is called, step forward. Good luck. All of you. Number one in the tank. Sophie. Catcher. Catcher. Catcher!
What's the holdup? You know what the holdup is. Put her in. We cannot put in a second natural that would be the same as murder. There is no shame dying trying to become a guardian. Kinto, I will take responsibility. Now we have our orders. I outrank you, Kinto. Put her in. You don't have to do this. It's what I want. Kinto, put her in and step aside. It's not your choice. No, it's hers. I want to try. I'll have no part in this call. Then step away. It's all right. Your first guardian amongst you. Salute! You heard him. Trainees, we have a new guardian. Salute! Garda! 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 